Hey guys, before watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Hey everyone, what's going on? As you saw from the last video, uh, I was doing some work and put these new carbides on. Tonight I'm going to be doing a little bit more work to it tonight. I think I'm going to take these panels off, give them a good cleaning, and also I'm going to be greasing the track and lubricating it. And uh, on the next couple of videos, I think maybe later this week, I'm going to be installing a light bar on the front. And uh, stay tuned for that video. I managed to forget the product that I was going to clean my snowmobile with back at home. Although this is the only other stuff I had at the shop, which is Spray 9, uh, which is a great cleaner for various things, um, from grease and grime to kitchens to sleds. So we're going to give it a shot and I'll show you guys how it works out. Now that the engine bay is all opened up, I'm going to go ahead and clean down and wipe down all the parts I can see that have rust on them, that are dirty, with this same Spray 9, uh, a motor uh, clean product or a grease remover. Anything can really work to wipe down these products. It's good to keep them clean, uh, lubricated, and in working condition. Once you have the sled opened up like this, it's also a good time to look it over and make sure there's nothing wrong with it, nothing that is broken or leaking, uh, to make sure that the sled is ready to go uh, for your next ride or the next season, and that it's not going to need any repairs or break down on you on the trail. When it comes to greasing the chassis, every sled has different grease nipples, which you put this grease gun onto and grease. Um, I'm an Amsoil dealer, so I sell in, uh, Amsoil synthetic products, and I'm using that on this sled here. I like to grease this every 500 kilometers or 500 miles, depending on how hard I'm riding, the conditions, and where I'm riding. Uh, it saves a lot of problems on the chassis from stuff breaking and snapping uh, and things moving better. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you grease it here. Like I said, though, every snowmobile is different. They have their own points which you grease uh, as every chassis is different and this Polaris here I think has five uh, on the track. The first grease nipple is right back here so I slide the end onto the nipple and then begin pumping full of grease until I see that it's full. This is the third greasing point. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That is the fourth. When doing this, you can usually find out um, when it's done by pressure and you see the grease seeping out of the ends of the rods and the end of this and that's how you know that it's good to go and you can move on to the next point. I'm also going to remove this back storage compartment and clean under it. As you can see the buildup of oil and grease under it, it needs a cleaning for sure. Once I've cleaned the engine bay, uh, I like to put the sled back together, put all the hoods and components uh, back as I found them. And I'm going to just do a last clean up here uh, with the arm shock uh, and some of the areas here that had a little bit of rust on them. Uh, as you can see, it's all put back together, so I'm just going to give it a wipe down and call it a night.
Uh, we clean the engine bay, clean the exide parts, grease the track, um, and stay tuned for the light bar video coming up. Thanks guys.